There is good news and bad news about my mobile application for handheld devices and my gold maps. As a brief update or an introduction for people who do not know, I have been providing a service on the internet that shows all known gold and silver locations in the United States and in other places, mostly North America, also South America, Europe, and other places. These gold locations are in the MRDS database, and I use Google Fusion Tables to keep track of them, and people have been using my web server application for maybe six years. I decided to write a mobile app, and it is all working, and it looks really good. Everything functioned properly. One can select gold, silver, gold and silver, copper, iron, gems, lead, uranium, tungsten, zinc, all records above, and all MRDS records. And I also have an option for rock samples where known. And there's several thousand rock samples. And the rock samples show ages of the rocks in the region. Also shows where the rock samples were collected. Here we see all of the lead. <clears throat> One can add rock layer. We can select copper and rock layer and hit the load and it will show us the copper in brown and then the rock ages and stuff in green dots. And it gives information on the uh, record. One can also copy the data to one's clipboard if the web browser or the device accepts uh, copying to clipboards. Not all clipboards uh, devices will take the information. Here is a copper mine information on there. You can copy all of that to clipboard if you wanted to. And there's three tabs at the bottom. One is location, one is other information, and one is the material itself. Uh, what mineral it is, et cetera, et cetera. One can zoom in, zoom out. One can put the usual topographic layers or the, uh, I don't know what that layer is called. You can also zoom to location if one wants to. <clears throat> One can even use the search function and show just a specific state that a person is interested in. One can zoom to an address. One can also search for the name of a mineral uh, or a mine. In this sample, we're, we told the database to select only Utah for copper, and then we hit for gold and silver, and it's still only Utah. And if you wanted to remove Utah, you would hit the X, and then perhaps if you wanted to go someplace, I don't know, Hawaii, Denver, perhaps. I don't know why anybody would want to go to Denver, and hit the Go button. And it will plop it down. Notice that the Utah button had been cleared if we want to see all the records in the list, we would do the uh, all records. And that would show everything in the entire planet regarding uh, the database. There's a shitload of minerals, known minerals.
There are wreckers in most areas of the planet. South America, North America, Europe, Africa. Most of the records are in the United States of America. If you want to know where the uh, gravel pits are and stuff like that, you use the All MRDS Records option in the Select tab at the bottom right. Unfortunately, now that this is working properly and everything is ready to go, I was going to launch it in a few days. And I got a notice from Google, and they said they are going to discontinue the fusion tables upon which this database is uh, predicated. So I have to either release this and let it run for a year, and then it will stop working in a year, or I can release this and then try to find an alternative server or service for the map part and the database part and then try to cram it all together. This app took a lot of time to write uh, a great many hours and it's already obsolete because it's going away. December 2019 You can also search for a particular mineral location by its name. Uh, we just did King, so it showed all of the mineral locations that had in its name the word King. And you can also see all of the gold and silver with the name King in its name. And if it has a primary, secondary, or tertiary gold or silver, it will be listed. And like I mentioned, this will copy to clipboard for most devices. Some devices it will not, such as uh, Kindle readers from Amazon. Uh, some Android devices will not copy to clipboard, and others will. And like I said, this is all going away.